In this session we'll be looking at saving tweets to Excel using Microsoft Flow. So in OneDrive for Business, um, we're just going to create a new folder for Twitter. And then inside that folder, uh, we're going to create a new Excel spreadsheet. So this Excel spreadsheet will save all of the tweets that get posted by uh, the company. So this is quite a good way of keeping track of um, if you've got somebody to look after your social media, you've got a record of all those tweets that have happened. So I'm just going to call this Excel Spreadsheets Tweets. And then I'm going to create a number of columns. So the first column I'm going to create is uh, the Tweets Text. And then I'm going to create another one for um, Location, so I can see where that tweet was sent from. And then I want to also record the date. So I'm going to put another um, column in there for, for Time. Uh, so when you've created those columns, you just need to select them and then go to Insert and Table. And this table's got headers, so I'm just going to click OK. And that, that helps Flow find that table and then it can add rows to it. Once a new tweet's been sent, it can then add rows to it. So if you're using Office 365, you should be able to find the Flow icon um, inside your app launcher. So that's uh, the, the Flow icon there. And if you search the templates for Twitter, there's basically a template already set up that you can just populate. So this is, um, you have to sign into Excel um, and into Twitter. Just make sure that when you're signing into Excel, it's with your Office 365 account, so you can access your OneDrive for Business. So the first section is um, for the, the tweets that you're going to search for. I'm going to put in the name of my Twitter account. Um, and then under the Excel um, section, I'm going to then search for that Excel spreadsheet that I just set up, so that Excel spreadsheet called Tweets, and it should automatically populate the table uh, section, it's just called Table because that's the default name for it, and then you've got the three columns, and then once you click one of those columns, you can then select um, any of those uh, Twitter fields from there, so you select Tweet Text, Location, and then um, if you press See More, you should see a whole list of all the Twitter uh, fields that you can select. I'm just going to select created at, which is the, the date created. And then when that's ready, you just press create flow. And that will create the flow um, and it will start listening uh, for that particular um, Twitter account to post. Now I've made a slight mistake and I put the and symbol in there. So this shouldn't work because the and symbol is actually a mention on Twitter rather than the actual account. So unless I mention my account, it won't appear. So I'm just going to show you with it, with it not working first. So we am going to create a Twitter post. Uh, just this testing one here. Tweet that. And then if I go back into um, Microsoft Flow and I check the, uh, the runs, so you can check the runs, see if it's been successful. You'll see that every time I refresh it, it takes a minute for it to run each time. So it'll check Twitter every minute to see if a new post has been submitted. So after one minute, um, that should run again, and it should skip it because there's no tweets for it to pick up to record in Excel. So it says skip, so I'm just going to go back into flow and get rid of the at symbol. And then update the flow, and then go back into Twitter and, uh, and post a new tweet. So I'm just going to post the same tweet again, but I'm just going to stick the word again after it. And then if I go back into my Excel spreadsheet, eventually within a minute, you should see this is now populated. So it's got the uh, the tweet text in it, the location and the time. It's also put that extra column in there as well. So that's how to get your um, Twitter information into Excel using a uh, Microsoft Flow. So again, it's, it's good at keeping track of your social media postings and just leaving that auditing trail and also if you want to do it to do any sort of analytics on the tweets that you send it's quite useful hope you found that useful if you have any questions feel free to contact us